Hello everyone, Godson here, back to doing another video for you guys today. So, same day after the last video, but um, different day for you guys for this video. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can go find where to put this tablet at. Also, I'll probably actually end up going to that thing that I didn't go to last time. Um, if... Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. Now, if my memory serves, which it might, um, I think the place that I need to go for that island for the defense gun was the opposite direction of the sea moth, so I think it's over this way. Um, now I could be wrong, it could just be misremembering, which I wouldn't put it past me, but... I figure this is over this way too, so I might as well go this way. Either way, I might be able to see an island eventually. Because I want to get to that containment thing, because I, I have the purple tablet now, so I should be able to get in there and, um... This game here was technically at night. Found you! I need to go to the other side. Man, this thing would be freaking awesome to have as like a base or something if you could actually build in it. I don't even think- well, I guess you can get inside if you have the key. I'm assuming that's what the key does. What is what this is called, right? Oh, it's purple tablet, not purple key. Mm, whatever. I guess my brain was thinking from like, a doom standpoint. Oh dude, check that out, I have a shadow. Here we go. Force field control. Ah. I really did not notice that last time. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Structural analysis. Huh. Well, it's certainly cool. <gasps> Ancient technologies. Very cool, I guess. Oh. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Discovered inside an alien facility, it is not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer. Although there is no clear way to interface with it, on approach, it began... Producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology and evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device. And to communicate back, the mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply that the designers were considerably more physiologically... Developed than the common human assessment. Further research required. <sighs> Something down there. Weapons if I activate it again. Nothing? Yeah, no. Figures. Stupid junkie tech kick. <laughs> Whole place blows up. That'd be pretty bad. Actually, technically, this is a containment facility, so it shoots the gun if I kick it. What is this? I think that looks really weird. Oh, it actually doesn't take up. What did that say? 
high inner high capacity alien energy source. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Huh. Oh, hold on. Should have brought water with me, but um, yeah. Unknown language. Attempting translation. The status set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern of three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather the basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal elegium. No, wrong. Amygdalum synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence that designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where the sex where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interfere interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or install security measures. Getting low on water too. So that's not good. Your in. best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. This is cool. Plop. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Start. Yeah, my water is going to start not being good here soon. Sort of done. Maser thing. Jeez, now it's starting to look maze. The facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Okay, but I can't get to it. <laughs> See fluid intake, yeah, because my fluid is 20. Tip, I don't have any fluid with me. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Huh? 
detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. die in here too. Just really hope that the ion cubes don't break if I die. Also have to swim all the way back here to get my um sea moth. I'm not entirely thrilled about that part, but not much I can do about it either. I don't think I can get in this way. Unless there's something that I'm missing. Weird, I got stuck there for a second. Is there some sort of. Oh! Crap. Am I gonna have time before I die? Like, I don't wanna run out of water. <laughs> that would really suck. <laughs> think so, but... Yeah, my water is pretty low. Just open your mouth and go outside and just inhale it all. Control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Cool. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to Wait, data I can do it again? Take immediately. I don't have fluid, lady. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Huh. Doesn't appear to have any crap in me to open that. Doesn't appear to have anything else here except that. So I'm guessing that that's all. So I'm assuming that I have to shut this down later on, or something? No. Let's see if I can scan anything. I mean, I'm gonna die anyway, I might as well, right? Is there a way to get up there? Huh, I think so. Ooh, let me scan this. Doomsday device? Seriously? Device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system? Fortunately, has not functioned. Oh, jeez, thanks. That's very comforting. Um, does this have anything? This is where I got the purple tablet. I scan it? No. I am running very low on water. Water? Sir, would you like some water? Can I scan one of these things that comes up? No. Can I scan you? Alien rifle, I was right, it's a gun type thing. Did he go this way? Yeah, I did. 
This looks like a gate. Yeah, I think it was. I think when I scanned it, it was like portal or something. Alien portal. Dude, I'm so glad I don't have stamina. Admittedly, it is a bit annoying to clink, 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 clink every time you take a step. This is only 92 meters down. That's really not that far at all, honestly. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I don't know that that was there the entire time. I don't have any fluid. What the hell was that? Oh, it's be you. I can't find a, um, you don't give me anything, do you? Oh my god, you do? Get out of here, ugly. Come here, Peeper, I need water. Mare! Dude, if I wouldn't have had this blade, I would not have been able to do anything for my survival. Come here! God, dude, that is such a freaking save. What is this? Creature egg. Come here. Didn't I just hit you? Thank you. 30 seconds. Oh crap. <laughs> Dude, I just saved myself. If I didn't have that, um, that knife, though, I wouldn't have been able to do that. It's amazing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. All right, now I need to go back. Do I have? Yeah, I do. I gotta go back home. I don't want to lose these ion cubes. Uh, home is... Over there. How far are you away? Eh, might as well go here anyway. That warper actually didn't do anything to me, even though I'm infected, so I don't entirely know what's up with that. I thought they were supposed to attack me, but maybe it's just because it didn't see me, or it didn't, um... I'm not infected or not? I don't know. Should be able to make it home, yeah. Got a little bit of water. It's not much, but... At the bare metal mile, I want to be able to make it home and put the stuff in my storage. Also, I need an auto run for this game. I'm going to make a macro for that. So I don't have to sit here and hold the button. I mean, I can drive like this. I just don't want to hold W the entire time. I mean, I have an auto run in uh, Arc as well. Especially when something's like a thousand meters away. It actually does take quite a bit to get there. At least I have food back home now, so I don't actually have to worry about that once I actually make it home. I do need to get a, um, medical med kit so that I can heal. And then I can go over and look at that new thing. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, 76% charge. I mean, I don't really need to... I realized I was on this entire time. My lights. Alright, so rare stuff can go here. Those are definitely rare and I definitely don't want to lose them. Um, let's go ahead and eat some potatoes. Vital signs stabilizing. 
vital signs of stabilizing. Man, those trees are just like freaking amazing, dude. God. Um, do I have any more health kits? I don't think I do. Okay, I have to go over here and get that one. I need to make one of these in my base, but I mean, like, I live right here, so I just. Do I really need to? You know? Also, I think. I don't, what do we even need for that? I don't remember. It's... Computer chip and silver ore, yeah. So it's not hard, per se, it's just kind of a pain. I need silver. Um, Alright, let's go save, and then after we save, we can go over to that! Over there. Oh, give me a sec to make my macro, like, two seconds. Go ahead and make a new one. Yeah, they are. Huh. I didn't really expect to see reef backs all the way down here. I figured they generally stayed up toward the surface more. Alright, how far away am I? 190? Oh, this is where those dudes are starting to show up. Lovely. Am I wearing my rebreather? No, but I am now. It's radiation zone? Are you kidding? God, that's annoying. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Not in 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oh, hello, shark things. Propulsion cannon? Print acquired. Huh. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Integrating I... new PDA data. Um, this one? Mm -hmm. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh. Alright. Um. I didn't know this was down here. Sweet. Alright, time to go get my sea moth, wherever the hell that is. Where are you? Oh, never mind. I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Oxygen. Alrighty, time to return to base. I kind of do want to see if I can find that though. What was that? Um, crap. This is my voice logs. I picked up something, but. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. No, that's not it. Um. Codes <sighs> and food. I don't know. Entities in range? Huh. Is that better than my current cannon? 
Because, I mean, if that one only pushes stuff away, doesn't this already do that? No. Um. So. That's silver. What did I, um. Crap, man. I wish I would have. Are all of these new? No, but they're old, I guess. I don't know what that wanted to tell me. What's that? Carrying high priority passengers remains 175 meters. I'm gonna go up toward the surface, I think. But I will head over to that one too. I've got time for the video. Probably be the last thing I do in the video though. I think that was a baby version of the reef back. Kinda annoyed that I missed that because they wanted to pick up something or wanted to do something. It's kind of slightly annoying, but I mean, whatever. Not much I can do about it, I guess. <sighs> so how's everybody out there? Hopefully all of you guys are doing okay. Um, staying safe, doing well. Hopefully everyone is enjoying my series. Uh, I know other people have played it before, but I'm hoping that I have a my own take on it, you know what I mean? So. I have seen bits and pieces here and there, but I haven't, like, delved super far into it. So a lot of the things I'm just completely freaking clueless about. <laughs> um, so you have to forgive me for being an idiot once in a while. Plus, everything in this sort of looked the same. I mean, it still kind of looks the same on some of it, but... I think it's a bit better now than it was. I love how big those dudes are. It's freaking amazing. There's 67% charge. Hundred and seventy-five meters deep, carrying high priority passenger remains. I'm gonna see, like, is there a log that I can find for these things? Not equipment. Extensive biodiversity safety warning may support Leviathan class predators. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. It's not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous materials use and extended support apparatus. Well, that would have been nice before I got infected, but uh, yeah, that doesn't help me at all now. So this is just what my PDA tells me, I think. It's not the actual voice, though, for whenever I pick up things, I don't think. Yeah, this was from yesterday. Well, last episode. Technically two days ago for you guys when you watch this. Alright, whatever. I was hoping that I could get that. Then again, I don't even actually know if it had a log to listen to. I just assumed it did, because most of those things do. And I didn't really pay attention, because I accidentally opened the thing earlier anyway, so yeah, that happened. Wow, yeah, I can totally see everything. Not really, I can't see anything at all. 
Oh, Mushroom Forest. Okay. These dudes look friendly enough. I don't know what they're called, though. I want my rebreather here. Without being baptized by 3,000 volts of radiation. Ooh, hello. Ultra Glide Pins. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, wait. Are these the ones I can listen to? Oh, it is. Atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Impact imminent. The universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. That didn't sound even the most remotely a bit creepy. So the other one then. Would it be this one? God, I don't know what I've listened to and what I haven't listened to. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated Welcome the aboard, exam. Captain. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting? I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I'm actually going to die down here. I mean, you did die down there, buddy. So you weren't wrong. Um, green pustules. Interesting. Probably wouldn't feel too good. It would either be very painful or very itchy or both. Ooh, those would be bad. Dude, imagine it being, like, really itchy and then you scratch it, and then it's just painful. Did you scratched it? <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. That fish should have stayed on that side of the road. It wasn't my fault. Man, I need to recharge this thing and run it into more buildings, apparently. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, Alright, is that the only one that I needed to listen to of those? These have those two? I think this is the one I just listened to. Yeah, that's one of the ones I've listened to. Me. I'm pretty sure I've listened to that. I've seen that as well. I'll heard that, I guess. I've heard that. Alright, I think I've I think I got the one that I missed. At least I'm hoping that I did. Um Is this thing still going strong? Yeah it is. Cool. Oh yeah, I got lithium, so I can put that in my rare box. 
and my silver ore. Silver ore is kind of rare. It's not super rare, but I mean, hey, it's what it is. What can I make now? Well, I guess this will tell me what I can make that's new. Yeah, because I totally want to make any of those. Um, Repulsion cannon. Should also be able to make a repulsion cannon. Unless that would be in the modification station, which it might be. I want to make one of these. I have, mm, I might have the lithium. I'm not entirely sure. Dreamline construction enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins. Uh, okay. That's not super hard. Lithium's kind of a pain. Propulsion cannon. House of force to entities in range. Hmm. So does that make it do everything? Or is that just to repulse things? Because... I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button, also consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. If you didn't enjoy it, then please leave a comment or something. Say hi. Be like, hey, Godson, how you doing? Uh, you can also dislike it. Uh, anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, have fun, take care, peace.